Hello YouTube, I'm back again. I uh, want to talk to you about uh, bugging in with a person that may be opioid or alcohol dependence. I call them zombies because when they're on that uh, stuff they just get zonked out. And I'm talking about mostly uh, family members. Now everybody has not everybody, I'm going to just say a lot of the people that I know have uh, at least one family member. It might be a second cousin or a third cousin once removed. It could be a brother or a sister that may have one time had a drug or alcohol problem. That maybe had to go to counseling or maybe cleaned up on themselves or maybe even had to do time because of that addiction. I'm just wondering because they are your relatives and if the shit hit the fan and things go bad and they come over to your place do you allow them to bug in with you or do you hold their past against them now personally I love everybody and and I know that I have family members that have had drug problems in the past. I know some that are still struggling with opioid addiction or whatever they call it nowadays. I just call them crackheads. But uh, would I actually let them stay in my bug out location, my bug in location? That is a tough question. It depends on which family member it is. I'm gonna just have to tell you the honest to God truth because some of them out there that. Are, are in such a bad shape and bad condition that they will probably get you killed with their addiction because you know like I say I call them zombies and, and and they will go out and they will do stupid shit that will probably bring back repercussions on you I mean they it, it's a it's a hideous thing to say but some of my family members because of that I, I can't have them come over to my house today because they are still everything you got if you don't watch them. But then a lot of them got clean, been clean for years, and I love them to death. They're welcome to come over anytime. But like I said, it's a it's a hard question, and, and I know I'm not the only one out there that had to deal with this situation. And I know that a lot of you, like I said, you're gonna have to do like I do. I just on an individual basis, like I said, I, I, all my brothers and sisters, my nephews and nieces, they know what I do. And they're all welcome to come over. Like I say, I don't have a whole lot of supplies for a whole lot of people. And I always tell them, you come over, if you can bring something, that's fine. If not, we'll survive, we'll make do. Because, like I say, at the end of the day, when it's all over and we're safe, and the government steps in or whoever in power steps in to tell the people to come on out, we're going to start to rebuild and reorganize, I'm going to be right up front because I don't think that the world is going to end unless it's a space invasion and then there's no coming back from that but in, and uh... and they will need people because people are humanity and we are people so